What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. We're taking a look at 10 more really cool tweaks you can get from Cydia for iOS 10. Now if you guys want to discover more tweaks or check out my previous best tweaks video, or if there's any tweak on my device that I don't cover in this video that you want to find out about, be sure to check out the playlist link in the description. I've pretty much covered everything on my device at this point. So like I said, if I don't cover it in this video, it'll more than likely be in that playlist link. So be sure to check that out. But anyways, we're going to jump right into this. The first tweak I got for you guys is fairly simple, but I really like it. It's called time until alarm. So if we go ahead and launch the clock application, if I go ahead and toggle on one of my alarms, as you guys can see below the toggle there uh, is the time until that alarm goes off. So this is a super simple tweak, but like I said, I think it's really cool. That way you know maybe you know how much sleep you're gonna be able to get uh, before your alarm does go off. Super simple tweak, again, it's called Time Until Alarm. Next up we have Pulse HUD. This is a volume HUD replacement, but it's kind of unique. I haven't really seen any other tweaks go about uh, changing the volume HUD like this does. So like I said, it's called Pulse HUD. So if you guys would notice when I change the volume on my device, Instead of getting that annoying volume pop-up, we have kind of a cool looking pulse in the middle of the screen. As you guys can see, if we hold the volume up, you can really see the effect. And if I go ahead and turn the volume down, you'll notice that the pulse gets smaller in size and also transitions from green to the color red. So very cool so that we can go ahead and turn it all the way down. So as you guys can see with the volume all the way down, it's just a tiny little pulse. Go ahead and turn it all the way back up again. And as you can see, it slowly gets bigger and transitions back into green. Uh, also with this tweak, you can choose what color you want it to be. So you're not limited just to the red and green kind of transition colors. You can pick a color. So definitely a very unique tweak. Again, that's called a pulse HUD. Phony is a super simple tweak. All it does, if we go into the phone application and start typing out a number, what Phony does is it moves the plus button and the delete or backspace button from the top down to the bottom so it's much easier to access one-handed within your phone application that's super simple but you know being that I do have the iPhone 7 Plus I really do enjoy this because getting to these two buttons that are normally up on the top like I said can be a bit of a pain so having them down at the bottom for one-handed use is super convenient again this tweak is called phony next up we have no low storage so if you guys have the issue when you go into Cydia, constantly getting the low storage pop-up, it's super annoying, it happens to me all the time, uh, this tweak will fix that. Like I said, the tweak is called No Low Storage, and basically what it does is it prevents that pop-up within Cydia uh, popping up and saying low storage on your device, which most of the time you don't have low storage, so it's, like I said, very annoying. But this tweak will fix it. Again, it's called No Low Storage. Accelerated home button is a very simple tweak from Cydia. You install it and it works. There's no settings to configure. Uh, basically what the tweak does is it accelerates the response time of your home button on your device. Now it's very, very subtle. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to notice unless you're using it, you know, within your hand and you can, you know, feel uh, the home button click and then you see how quickly it exits out of an application. Uh, very subtle, so if we just go ahead and click the button, the home button there, I know it's probably hard for you guys to tell if it's that much faster than stock, uh, but take my word for it, it is slightly faster, it's a bit more responsive, and it just feels better in my opinion, it allows you to get around on your device a little bit quicker. Again, that tweak is called Accelerated Home Button. Next up we have Zeppelin. Now I'm sure most of you have all heard of Zeppelin. It allows you to change your carrier logo to a wide variety of different logos. So instead of it saying US Cellular, as you guys can see, I do have the Death Star as my carrier logo. Now, since I know a lot of you know of Zeppelin, I wanted to include two Zeppelin packs uh, within this uh, one tweak. So if we go into Zeppelin here and we go into theme, I'm gonna go ahead and swipe through the themes. As you guys can see there, it took actually a couple of seconds for it to load this. Uh, the, between these two different packs uh, that you can add for Zeppelin, I believe you get around 170 to 200 different logos you can choose from. I'll start swiping through here. 
I'm not going to obviously, you know, show you every kind of logo because there's just a ton. But since I knew, you know, a lot of you know of Zeppelin, I wanted to include two really awesome packs that you can get from Cydia that just add a ton of logos. Pretty much, you know, anything you can think of, there's probably a logo for it. I'm sure out of these two packs, you will find something that you really do like. As you guys can see, I'm still swiping through. There's just a ton of logos to choose from within these two packs. And I'll, I'll leave them down in the description. So uh, they're definitely worth picking up. Just a ton of different logos for Zeppelin. So awesome tweak and two awesome packs for you guys. Again, it's called Zeppelin. Polis allows you to customize your control center to have more toggles or more application shortcuts. So let's go ahead and let's open up uh, control center. So as you guys can see at the top there, I've basically rearranged the toggles, but if I swipe to the right, as you guys can see, there's even more toggles to choose from, uh, such as uh, low power mode, also night shift, uh, and it's just kind of rearranged my cellular data right there, a button for that as well. Uh, and then if we go to the bottom, as you guys can see here, I have the calculator, I have the clear application, I have YouTube, flashlight and camera, but if we swipe again, as you guys can see, I have even more applications to choose from uh, by swiping. We have the uh, clock application, we have Cydia, we have uh, pocket, we have weather, and we have messages. So uh, a very nice way to add more toggles uh, to your control center. Again, it's called Polis. Now, while we're still in control center, I'm going to show you guys the next tweak. It's called Noctis. Basically, what this tweak does is it brings dark mode to control center, to your widgets, to folders, to uh, notifications, uh, brings night mode to a bunch of stuff and it looks really cool and you can also toggle it within control center. So as you guys can see, there's the, the little lamp icon. If I click that, as you guys can see, it switches my control center to the night mode. If I swipe over to my widgets, as you guys can see, the widgets are also in the dark kind of night mode. If we swipe over to the folders, we can go ahead and open up a folder. As you guys can see, there's uh, that is in night mode as well. So definitely a really cool tweak uh, if you want to, you know, have a night mode for control center, um, notifications, folders, widgets. Definitely an awesome tweak. Again, that's called Noctis. Now I'm sure you guys have noticed that my control center layout is much different than normal. So let's go ahead and let's un uh, night mode our control center as you guys can see if I try to swipe to the right there's no extra uh, pages of control center it's basically all combined into this one uh, page which I really like this tweak is called horseshoe so as you guys can see it brings your music controls into its own section right there uh, for some reason the um, little icons here aren't rendered correctly I'm not sure if it's uh, conflicting with another tweak on my device but uh, this is the volume and if I click on the button there, this is the brightness. So you can switch between volume and brightness by clicking that button. Uh, and then also it combines, you know, some of the stuff down here like airdrop and airplay. Uh, so definitely a really cool tweak to kind of bring your control center all to one page. That way it's not separate pages. Definitely very cool. Again, it's called Horseshoe. The last tweak I got for you guys is called No LS Padlock. So if we go ahead and go to the lock screen on my device, uh, basically what this tweak does is it removes the kind of stupid padlock that's normally found within your status bar. I kind of don't understand why they would need to put a padlock there. Uh, if you're on your lock screen, you know that your device is usually locked. You don't need a, a padlock icon in the status bar. So I thought that, you know, the icon was kind of stupid and this tweak uh, just removes that padlock. There's no settings to configure. Just install it and it will remove that annoying padlock that's normally in the status bar. So uh, there are the 10 tweaks for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this lineup. It was a little bit more of a, you know, variety than uh, previous videos. And hopefully you guys have discovered some new tweaks that you didn't know about before. Uh, the wallpaper, I'm sure you guys are going to be wondering about it. You can get it on my Twitter. I will post it uh, or tweet it before I upload this video. So if you guys want the wallpaper, you will be able to find it on my Twitter. So again, like I said, those are 10 really cool tweaks that you can get from Cydia. I'll leave all the names of the tweaks listed down in the description. Uh, if you guys want to check out previous tweak videos, like I said, if there's any other tweaks on my device that I didn't cover in this video, you should be able to find them in the playlist link in the description as well. Uh, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one.
Later.